I love coming down to the ocean because many people think this is where life may have started. How does life work? And what is the minimal chemistry from which life can emerge? My name is Neil Devaraj. I'm a professor of chemistry and biochemistry at the University of California, San Diego. One of the fundamental qualities of life is its ability to reproduce. And so we're trying to take non-living materials and mimic this function. We're working with lipid membrane assemblies that can grow and reproduce. And one of the things we've done in our lab is to take a collection of simple molecules and put them together. And these synthetic membranes in the lab can actually self-reproduce as well. Neil is quite unique. He's really a singularity in the world of chemical biology. It takes a lot of depth and insight into chemistry to be able to invent new chemical reactions. But at the same time, he has depth as a biologist. He is willing to do a deep dive into both of these fields and bring them together in a very creative way. Professor Bertozzi's work changed the direction of my research career. The way in which she demonstrated that you can seamlessly do controlled organic chemistry in living systems. I saw this and said, wow, this is incredible. Neil will lead the rest of us <laughs> into the future. It's hard for me to predict where he'll be, but I think lots of people will follow him. And an award like the Blavatnik Award is a great way to invest in someone just when they're hitting a very steep trajectory and making big discoveries. Winning the Blavatnik Award has been an incredible honor as it encourages myself and my lab to keep pursuing difficult and challenging problems and not be afraid to consider experimental approaches that are unique. When I think about what could be the most profound, world-changing discovery, it, I think it would have to be the discovery of life on another planet. The only way to prepare for such a transformative discovery is to make sure that we really have a solid foundational understanding of life so that we can recognize it. And what Neil is working on is just going to bring us one step closer to being able to recognize forms of life that might differ from our own. Life isn't just about self-reproduction. What's exciting in terms of the next step is, can we build in now the ability for the system to undergo evolution, Darwinian natural selection, and add these other layers of complexity to even more closely mimic life.